Is boxing dead? I mean, it's been dying for so damn long. Is this it finally? I don't know, but it's not looking good, guys. People have been asking me to make some boxing videos, and that's basically been my answer. Boxing's dead, at least for right now. What is there to look forward to? Hmm? Joe Joyce, Dubois. You know, I, I haven't paid attention to what's happening really in boxing. Haven't seen a single fight since Sergey and Super Canelo. <laughs> man, that was about as real as the coronavirus, man. Come on. It was so sad and so disappointing to see humanity just refuse to speak the truth for whatever reason man it was just so I, you know i'm a very happy go lucky guy and there's not much in this world that really gets me down but i got to tell you man not so much the fight itself but the reaction to that fight and how people just weren't able not everybody obviously but how people just weren't able to speak the truth it's just so obvious what happened that night. Anyway, Sergey gets sued by some skank that has an affinity for horses. Go figure. A sick world we live in. Um, for $8 million, right? But then a few days before the fight, they settle out of court for six hundred fifty grand. He writes her a check for two fifty, and then ditches her, right? Yeah, okay. Like, that whole thing was real. I mean, come on, man. How do you sue somebody for $8 million and then settle for $650? Because you have an ironclad case? Because it was real? Is that what happened? Come on, man. Uh, but, you know, it gave some of these wokery blacks, blackery blacks, a chance to talk about... <laughs> non-existent double standards right double standards oh whatever happened to um innocent until proven guilty right whatever happened to that doesn't exist anyway random boxing talks random boxing talk what the hell are you talking about? Dude? What are you talking about? Not anything interesting, I'm sure. But yeah, Joe Joyce Dubois is probably the only fight I could get up for right now. Because, I mean, what else is happening? And that's a good one. That's a good fight. But what else is happening, for real? And this is the problem, man. I mean, as difficult as it was to get these divas in the ring. Because they just want more and more money. Money that doesn't exist. I mean, now that the whole global economy has been basically shut down. Okay, so they started it back up again. But it won't be long before they shut it down again. And it's not like it's back in full swing right now anyway. Now that all that has happened, wh where's all this money that wasn't there in the first place going to come from? Where? Especially with these dudes now, you know, having had a paycheck in a while, you know, probably getting hungrier. Somebody's going to have to take a pay cut if you want these fights to happen. And if the fans can't go to these shows, and or even if they can, if they can't pack them in like they used to be able to, and it's just such a hassle and, and people won't have money, and, and come on, man, where's the money going to come from? Like, what's, they got something up their sleeve? What? I suppose if you starve the boxers enough, they'll, they'll start fighting for a lot less money. That's what's going to have to happen if you want to start seeing some of these fights that weren't happening in the first place. It's not looking good for boxing. I, I mean, forget boxing. It's not looking good, period. I mean, 95% of you out there have been deemed non-essential, all right? You don't matter. What's, what's your plan B, homie? 
What do you got going on? Starvation? <sighs> it's not looking good for boxing, man. It, you know, I'm struggling to even talk about it because there are no fights on the horizon, really. And the stuff, the stuff that's planned and scheduled, I mean, it's right around... It's supposed to be happening right around the time for for this next lockdown. That's that's been planned for years, probably. You know it's coming. Don't be dumb. You know it's coming. They've never even been able to prove that the first wave exists. They're already talking about the second, third, fourth, fifth. I mean, <laughs> oh, Miguel Berchel is still fighting bums. Whoop de doo. Seriously though, what is happening out there right now that I should be excited about? Michael Nunn, Pat Militich? Really? I mean that that in and of itself should tell you just how hungry some of these people are, man. How how starved they are. Now that the now that the whole world is on lockdown and there is no boxing happening, Chris Eubank is calling everybody out. I mean, come on, man. I don't think I've ever smelled a bigger pussy than that clown, man. Get out of here. The only reason why he fought George Groves is because he thought he was done. And he probably heard some news about the shoulder and, and just thought he was going to be able to get him. And he didn't time it just right and got his ass whooped. Get out of here. What fights are you looking forward to? What fights? What, what's going on? What? Is Nandi Lara's going to fight somebody? Nah. Hopefully Rigondia. Fucking hell. So, yeah. Sergey. I mean... Nothing happening with that whole thing, right? That's just going to die down. Hoping you forget about it, because... That whole thing was real. I heard some rumor somewhere about Pacquiao fighting Triple G. I mean, Jesus. <laughs> I mean, shit. Bring it on. I'll watch. I don't care, man. It's, you know, I've been talking about this for a few years at least. This, Sergio's coming back. Did, did you know that Argentina's been on lockdown they never, they, they've been on lockdown ever since everybody else got locked down, basically. They're still on lockdown. Damn. Anyway, um, what was I saying? This, this guy, man, Ryan Garcia. How many years before he changes his gender or sex or whatever the hell, man? How many years before he transitions and, you know... Fights Clarissa. Or maybe by the time he does, she'll be, you know, super middleweight fighting Canelo. Is Lomachenko fighting someone? Who is he fighting? What? I understand some people want me to talk about boxing. What the hell is there to talk about? Seriously. What is there to talk about? Anyway, like I said, like I've been saying for years, the, the way boxing has degenerated over the years, how they've just been robbing people blind, you know, the amount of drug use that's been going on and how people have been loading gloves and just how corrupt and overtly so it's been, right? With the whole drug testing and... and Obviously, that being used to fix outcomes and just, just how fake, phony, and fix boxing. I mean, it's probably always been that, but how out in the open it had become. How it's revealed itself, right? It just had this apocalyptic feel to it. And it just... It, as I said, you know, a few times in the past, it, it just felt like 
these promoters and these fighters on some level realized that the, something bad was about to happen and they were all just trying to cash out, right? Putting all kinds of trash on pay-per-view, not really giving a damn, not having any sort of like long-term vision or, or anything like that. Just, just trying to cash out. And then engaging in all these rituals, these ritualistic um, ring walks and, and, and just all this symbolism and, and I don't even know what to say, man. It just felt like they knew something was up, something was about to happen. And I always thought, well, it's because they know boxing is dying and they just want to ride that bitch off a cliff basically right trying not to go down with the ship and here we are this is where we find ourselves boxing is dead they're gonna try to bring it back but let's keep it real man boxing is dead are they gonna be able to resurrect it and and what is it gonna look like because in so far as I can tell right now, you got dummies filling up the stands in Thailand, right? You got dummies refereeing fights or, or weighing in, wearing their slave mask. You're not supposed to be able to, to sit next to anybody in, in these stands if, if you are even allowed to go to a fight, right? Where's the money going to come from if they can't pack them in like before? Who's going to pay these guys? They're going to have to... Do something, man. And and maybe they got something coming. I don't know. Maybe they got something planned, but don't expect boxing to get any better, man. I I think it's just going to degenerate more and more and more. It's just gonna get phonier and, and, and phonier. I mean when the economy crashes and, and there's all these people desperate for money, man, you're going to see some desperate things happening, man. Phantom punches, you know what I mean? People dropping all kinds of crazy weight just to make the fight, just to get the payday. Uh, commission sanctioning all kinds of crazy shit in, in different countries where they can't get away with the type of stuff, right? Where they could still kind of pack them in. Because, you know, not every country locked down, right? Not everybody seems to be under complete and utter control of the new world order, global government, right? Some countries still seem to have some sovereignty. So, I don't know. Maybe promoters will have to take take it there if if the people there even want to have anything to do with that. I don't know. But... Or maybe this, this is just it, right? It's going to be chicks in bikinis. Boxing, quote-unquote boxing. I don't know, man. Like, What do you think? What fight are you looking forward to? Do you, do you think it's going to happen? Because you know they're locking us down again. Soon. September, October. Oh. Hopefully Khan gets knocked out at least one more time before the shit completely hits the fan. Wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, right? We'll see what happens, man. I don't, you know. And and until it does start happening, I, I just don't know what there is to talk about, right? I mean, I got this boxing channel and all, but <laughs> boxing is dead. What What am I supposed to talk about? You know what I mean? What is what is there to talk about? I don't know. Classic fights, maybe? Maybe. Anyway. That's my video, man. No. That's not a dude at all. Not at all. That's all I gotta say, man. You guys let me know. Peace out.